the tide has turned. There is a small distance, if distance at all, between exquisite beauty and exquisite agony. There is a meeting point where ecstasy is ecstasy regardless of the seeming cause. Both beauty and agony cut your heart up at this meeting place in which your heart beats or throbs or bellows or cries out, it is too much for me to be joined to everyone and everything. The depth of bliss and the depth of pain seem to be the same to you. Exquisite bliss and exquisite pain hurt my beautiful children equally. You do not know where to find the shore. Yet I, the God of oneness, know no pain. There is no place for pain in my heart of wholeness. My heart is wedded to bliss. And knows not the side you delve into. There is no darkness in my heart. Oneness is so deep. It leaves no room for anything but the deepest joy accountable or not. Yet you may well leave unfilled space in your heart and find great sorrow, wrenches of sorrow, sense of loss of joy. As if joy can be tarred and quartered. Your heart aches by whatever name the ache is known. In the greatest joy, you experience the haunting of subtraction even as oneness is. Oneness may wrench your heart when you are just verging on the joy of oneness, this is the real story. Oneness seems to burst your heart open, and your heart cries for mercy. Such great joy is a heartbreaker until you get used to it. Of course, it is the opening of your heart that you fear. What will you do without armor? What will you be without separateness? How will you live without space between hearts? How will you survive the upheaval? I ask you, beloveds, how do you live with separateness and intrepidation as you await the fullness of oneness? When you hear a lark sing, you are reminded of heaven. Your heart has tremors at the memory. You must dive into the sea of oneness, yet you fear drowning there, even as there is no there. And only here where I am. And where you are safe and sound in the wonders of the universe and beyond. There is no beyond where you find yourself. For you are your own environment. There is no China. There is no Rome. There is nowhere but the stirring of your heart and the music of your soul. You are your own heart strings. You compose yourself. Be uncomposed, beloveds. You require no borders and angles. There is nothing for you to get caught on. You are dissolving. You are breaking up desolation and delusion. You are being put back together in your awareness. How you fear wholeness where you stand tall without boundaries, when boundaries have been your seeming support all these years. You have not been able to fight against the boundaries. You have thought that boundaries must make you strong. You have learned well how to fight. You have been a great warrior. And now you are learning to leave the arena of where you were. For a time. A gladiator. Now you leave the prizes and wounds behind. In oneness, there are no warriors. There is no warring. There are no exploiters or exploited. There is no exploitation. Love holds all the cards. Love is oneness in all its glory. There are no sides. There is nothing to win but the oneness of love. In oneness, there is no sacrifice. There is greater than thriving. There is loving. It is not exactly like you love another as yourself. There is only self to love. As I love, you love. Nothing stands in your way. You love now without decision and, certainly, without sacrifice. There is no counterpart to you. There is the magnificence and munificence of one wonderful oneness. There is nothing less. There is nothing else. Oneness is allness. The tide has turned.